JFT, just fair and direct. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to JFD's daily market review for January the 11th. I am Haralambos Pissuros, Head of Research here at JFD, and I will talk about yesterday's main market movers, what's my opinion moving ahead, what are today's important events, and how they could affect the markets. But before we start, let's read our disclaimer. The content we produce does not constitute an investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds uh, to read the rest and then we will jump into our analysis. Okay, the US dollar traded nearly unchanged against most of the other major currencies on Monday and during the Asian session Tuesday. It gained only against uh, CHF while it underperformed versus JPY and slightly against uh, GBP. Now, given that both the Japanese yen and the Swiss franc are considered safe haven currencies, the fact that they moved in opposite directions paints a confusing picture with regards to the broader market sentiment. A strengthening yen could be a sign of a risk of trading activity, while a weaker franc points otherwise. So, shifting our attention to the equity world, we see that um, major European indices were a sea of red, with the negative appetite rolling into the opening of the US session. Now, despite staging a strong comeback later in the day, only Nasdaq managed to poke its uh, nose in positive territory, while today, uh, in Asia, appetite um, deteriorated again. Now, with European and US um, bond yields rising uh, as well, we can only assume that the driver behind uh, those market movements uh, may have been expectations over faster tightening. Yes, some participants may have already increased their tightening bets, their tightening, uh, bets with, regards to the Fed, with regards to the Fed, but now it seems that they are looking at the ECB as well. Although the bank has clearly pointed that they are unlikely to touch the hike button this year, last week's unexpected uh, acceleration in Eurozone inflation may have, pro may have prompted uh, some investors to add such kind of bets. Now, as far as the Swiss franc uh, is concerned, uh, the fact that the SNB's uh, site uh, deposits increased not notably last week, suggests that the central bank has resumed its uh, foreign currency purchases to prevent its own uh, from rising further. With that in mind, and also taking into account that uh, the rising expe expectations over a faster tightening process um, and also taking account the rising expectations of a faster tight, tightening process by the Fed, we would expect the dollar franc uh, pair to continue drifting north. After all, it seems that the SMB is one of the few banks uh, market participants are anticipating to stay in Dovish for a long time, and its actions point to that direction. Okay, some risk of episodes could result in some franc inflows, but we don't expect them to be game changers. We believe that FX traders looking for a heaven, for a heaven shelter may prefer the yen uh, for now. As for today, Fed Chair Jerome Powell is due to testify before the Senate Banking Committee at a hearing to confirm it, uh, his uh, nomination for a second term. Fed Governor uh, Lael Brainard is also scheduled to appear before the same committee on, on, on Thursday for a confirmation on her, uh, on her nomination as Vice Chair. Now, on Friday, the U.S. employment report revealed that non-farm payrolls slowed to 199K in December from 249K in November, missing estimates of an acceleration to 400K. This resulted in a retreat in the U.S. dollar, but it did not change expectations around the Fed's uh, future course of action. After all, the unemployment rate tumbled to a 22-month low of 3.9%, while wages accelerated unexpectedly in monthly terms. Now, according to the Fed Fund Futures, market participants are still fully pricing in the first quarter point rate increase to be delivered in May, with a decent chance of this happening one or even a couple of months earlier. Many believe that this will happen in March. Therefore, it would be interesting to hear what um, 
Powell says today and Brainard on uh, Thursday, especially with the minutes of the latest gathering uh, revealing that uh, officials said that the very tight labor market may warrant sooner rate increases. Brainard, who has been considered a dove before her nomination, appeared more hoggish than expected when she was appointed, showing commitment to getting inflation down. In our view, the risks are for both officials to support a faster uh, than previously assumed uh, rate path. After all, Wednesday's CPI data are expected to reveal that inflation ha has continued to accelerate in December, with the headline rate hitting 7% for the first time since, nine, since 1982, and the core one rising to 5.4%. Now, anything suggesting a more cautious approach could come as a surprise and perhaps bring the US dollar under strong selling interest. As uh, for the rest of today's events, besides Fed Chair Powell, we will also get to hear from ECB President Christine Lagarde and ECB Governing Council member Jens Wittmann. It will be interesting to see what they have to say after last week's inflation data and how the market may respond to their uh, remarks. So that's it uh, from me. Thank you very much for watching and listening. For those who are interested in learning about the main events of the week much earlier, you can subscribe to the weekly Market Outlook webinar, which I'm holding every Monday at 8 o'clock a.m. GMT. You can find the link in the description below. So, goodbye, have a great day, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again tomorrow. JFT, just fair and direct.